Hello again, Year Six. Happy Tuesday. So today in English we are doing a spag lesson, so a, a spelling and grammar lesson. And the grammar that we're looking at today is relative clauses. So I'm just going to go over to Shobi to show you what I mean. So um, today you're going to be looking at how to create a relative clause. So by the end of the lesson, you'll have recapped and consolidated your understanding of relative clauses because we felt, Miss Malik and I, that that was something we needed to work on. So by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use the words who, which, where and whose to add a clause. Uh, and you'll be able to add detail to your sentences and use commas at the start on the end of a relative clause, okay? So, um, reminder of what a relative clause is. A relative clause is a type of subordinate clause. Usually adds more detail about the noun in the main clause, okay? So, a relative clause turn our simple sentences into complex sentences and they level up our writing. So, they make our writing sound even better. So, in a little break between the introduction of our piece of writing and the second part, this is a good time to remind ourselves of these types of clauses so we can use them in our writing as we continue on the week. So here's an example. The boy walked to school is a simple sentence. Uh, it's got a subject, an object and a verb, but it can become a complex sentence by adding a relative clause. The boy who was feeling upset walked to school. So we've taken um, the relative pronoun who and we have uh, created a relative clause. So the boy who was feeling upset walked to school, okay? So you can see that the relative clause is in green and uh, it's separated from the main part of the sentence with two commas. So the main clause could stand alone as a simple sentence, but the subordinate or relative clause cannot. So if we take out the relative clause, the sentence makes sense on its own but the relative clause will not make sense on its own. Who was feeling upset does not make sense on its own. For my class, I feel like Grammasaurus explaining this. I could make up my own song. So, like I said, you can add extra information using a relative clause, but you must include a relative pronoun. So, uh, here we've got the man was waiting in a queue, the man, comma, who was a sailor, comma, adding that extra information, was waiting in the clip in the queue. So the extra information who was a sailor is a rel is the relative clause and the relative pronoun there is who. In the next sentence below we've got the uh, another relative clause and we've got the relative pronoun whose. So sorry about that. So here are some of our relative pronouns who, whose, which and were. Okay? And what you've got to do now is think about which words you can use to join these two simple sentences together, okay? So, Demetrius was a fisherman, full stop. He was 18 years old. So, you could add a relative clause into this sentence. So, what I want you to do now is pause the video and have a go at including a, a relative pronoun and making these two sentences into one sentence that includes a relative clause. Okay, so... Pause your video and have a go. So hopefully you've unpaused now and you can have a look at how you, you could have done that. So um, you might have said Demetrius, who was 18 years old, was a fisherman. Demetrius, whose parents had disappeared, was desperately sad. His home was the island of Kos. It was beautiful and peaceful, could become his home, which was beautiful and peaceful, was the island of Kos. And his mother had been taken by Poseidon, god of the sea, her eyes were as blue as the ocean, could become his mother, comma, whose eyes were as blue as the ocean, comma, had been taken by Poseidon, god of the sea. Give yourself a check, see if that's what you did. Okay, well done. And let's move on. So here um, you can add more detail to these simple sentences by joining the words in the stars, the relative pronouns, um, to create relative clauses and add them to the sentences. Okay, so you can have a go at the first two and then 
uh, we're going to move on. So just have a go at the first two. So the terrifying Minotaur charged at Theseus. What could you add to that sentence? For example, the terrifying Minotaur, who was really ugly, charged at Theseus, including your two commas in your sentence. So have a go at the first two and then move on. So uh, just to be clear, relative clauses include a relative pronoun, like the ones in the stars there, and uh, they add extra detail to the sentence and they're uh, sandwiched together with two commas, okay? So what you're going to do now is now you know what a relative clause is and you've revised it and you know that it includes a relative pronoun and you know that it's in included in the sentence um, to make a complex sentence with two commas, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have a go at the worksheets. So if we just scroll down, you'll see that you've got a selection of worksheets. Now in the instructions, it tells you that you only have to do pages six, seven, eight and nine. So have a go at those tasks in the worksheets, okay? So if you go through, you'll see pages six, seven, eight and nine, okay? And then if you scroll right through, you'll find there are the answers just there. So what you can do is, once you've had a go, you can have a look and check your answers, okay? So by the end of this lesson, you will have revised and consolidated your understanding on relative pronouns and relative clauses, and uh, you will be able to then use them in your sentences moving forward throughout the course of the week and onwards. So uh, happy learning and we'll be available online to help as well. Thank you.